certain judgment. He's gonna have to pay back a certain judgment before he dies off, man. He's gonna have to be put in hardcore as slavery before he's put out of his misery. And we're not, and you know what? The Most High is gonna laugh. He's not gonna care at what you people or what your thoughts are like about that statement. He, 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 he can't wait. Yahweh Shai cannot wait to come back and kill Esau. In fact, let me get a scripture proving that. Uh, Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is that that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is this, this that is glorious and is apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people that was not with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain on my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And, and, and right there, and, my, and, the, and the year of my redeemed is come, because Yahweh is pissed off and tired of having his elect uh, bully uh, shit talk to, uh, talk to like they're not, like they're pieces of shit. Because really, when you're despising us men, are you coming up to start this mission? Right? You're poking at him. Alright? And he doesn't like that. What God like, what God power man wants to be fucked with? You know? What God power wants to be uh 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 poke yeah, po you know, poked at, messed with all the time. And that's what y'all people are doing. It's like we made an example a, a good while back with the brother made an example it's like, well, like the scripture said, the earth is a footstool, alright? And you got and basically, you imagine the most side like this with his feet. That's his footstool, it's his rest. But you got all these nasty little gnats, which are satellites flying around his feet. But his feet are clean as hell. But you somehow still got these nasty gnats. You got, you got these worms, you got these worms on their footstool trying to form themselves into a, a, a god or whatever. Being proud. You got these worms trying to poke at his feet. But it says, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. He's ready to come back and destroy America. <clears throat> yeah, and that's talking about the Lord, Yahweh Shai. He's ready to come. Man, I'm gonna read it again. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. That's all he's been thinking about while being up in the heavens. He's preparing himself to come back to make the sword slaughter. Uh, and the year of my redeemer is to come. Yeah, like 144,000 and then one third. He's ready to come and save him stop him to, from being killed. I mean, the one third of the, the elect, they're not gonna be killed in this time, but he's tired of it. He's tired of innocent being, innocent blood being spilled. Cause really, yeah, uh, when you talk about, uh, what, I, I don't know, Milton Hall, uh, what are these other guys? These other, this one guy, I don't know his name, but he got choked out apparently by the police. Uh, boy, you had that, uh, I don't know, I don't really know many, many others, but you have all these other cases where all these men are, these, uh, what was that guy uh, from Georgia? Uh, but he had uh, been sentenced to death, but everybody knew he was innocent and they still killed him, you know? They're innocent people. They're, they're so-called they're so innocent people because they haven't done nothing to you, to you Edomites. But you Edomites, you so-called white man, you want to keep on killing and killing. But there's a price to pay for that. You cannot, but the brother made it be beautiful. You cannot kill. What's crazy is a man who wants to kill for no reason. What's crazy is a man who does kill for no reason. That's a so-called white man. He kills you through the foods, through the media, through television, through uh, through uh, through his system. He wants to say his foods. His food's delicious. Yeah, right, man. You, you have no idea what you people are eating daily, and it's unavoidable. is in my heart and the year of my redeemer has come and I looked and there was none to help and I wondered that there was none to uphold therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me and my fury it upheld me and I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury and I will bring down their strength to the earth and that was how I shot killing off Esau Imagine, you've never seen Yahweh Shai fight. Like, man, you got these movies of like, 
unexplainable super, superhuman strength, super fast human strength, like the movie uh, Superman. You saw that woman when she went real fast. She, she, man, that was beautiful. That's yeah, like, trust me. Yeah, how was Shia gonna fight like that? He's gonna, he's gonna make, he's gonna make one punch. He's gonna make a one-stroke punch. But he's gonna start from here. It's gonna hit a human being. Next one's gonna hit another human. Next one's gonna hit a human. His elbow's gonna hit. You're gonna hit four human beings with one stroke of a punch. You know, you cannot, you cannot comprehend what's to come, man. He's angry. Yeah, how is is angry, man? The Mosai is pissed off. Because after he said be fruitful and multiply, what happened? The earth was already corrupted quickly. Oh wait, let me let me let me see something real quick. To the time of Noah, up until the time of Noah, uh, let me see. It was Lamech. Lamech lived 180 and two years. He got his son. I honestly, no, I cannot say a number. I don't know. But it wasn't that. Honestly, it wasn't that long before it got to. Uh, it got to. Uh, Genesis 6 and uh, started 5 and the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in earth that the wickedness and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and he repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart so it made, he didn't like it uh, I can't do that math in my head but it has uh you had Adam, you had Noah, uh, I'm sorry, Adam and Eve, then you had Cain and Abel, then you had the birth of Seth, then it has Seth's descendants, which went to Enos, Kainan, Mahalalil, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, then the Lamech, then from Lamech to Noah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven lines, seven generations to Noah. But they weren't even a full generation. It was a hundred years. It says right there, 180 years. And then Methuselah was 187. You know? Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. All the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years, and he died. And Lamech, Lamech lived 182 years. Alright. Wait, no, I'm sorry. And all the days of Lamech was 777. Okay, so, okay, yeah, about seven days maybe, a good week, the earth had been created and already the earth was greatly polluted. That, that just shows you, man, it, takes, it doesn't take that long for people wanting to be evil. And it, and it doesn't, when, when wickedness is there, it spreads like wildfire, man. If you don't stop it, if you don't burn it up, or if you don't catch that weed, man, it, 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 it just gets everything. And the scriptures tell you, man, that everything has been planted, yeah, you've been rooted, and that the, the wicked, the proud cannot be unplugged because the root is too deep. So it takes something greater than that. It takes a hoe, like a, a, like a, a garden hoe, okay? It takes a, 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 it takes a, a, a great big ass nail. It takes a shovel. It takes machinery. You gotta get all the way down there, man. And this is the one root that you can't take a machine to because you're walking around. That root might try to move his leg. You know, you're a walking tree. But uh, Genesis uh, 6 and 11, the earth also was corrupt before the Most High and the earth was filled with violence. And the Most High looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me. For the earth was filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So there you go. It's the exact same thing that's happening then, that's happening now. It even gives you an example in Matthew chapter 25. 24, my bad. What about 25? Uh, Matthew chapter 20, uh, okay, 24 and uh, 37. But as the days of Noah were, 
so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. There you go. It, it, why would it bring up Noah again? What, what, uh, what's so relevant about the, the time of Noah? If there's if history doesn't repeat itself, or if history can't happen the same way, or examples aren't there for, for, for us to learn, why would he talk about Noah? Because it's gonna be just like that. People were people were scoffing at him at Noah. People were laughing at him. They were trying to kill him. They, they, they thought he was a crazy, the crazy spirit that was born upon the earth. Right? But they, they, they all said the same thing. It's not gonna happen. Alright? And look what happened. <laughs> Only eight inhabitants were left on the entire earth after the flood came. Eight inhabitants. Okay? Eight. It's a small number. I can count that on my hands. And they, and they, and they also give an example, or the scientists out there, I, I ran to a guy, he said that apparently, you know how many human beings it would take to uh, repopulate the earth? 53. He said 53. 53 people to create a non-incest, uh, ancestral lineage. Because they don't believe that. At, because they don't, I just got to tell you how long these other men lived. No one lived for a long time. His son lived for a long time. The wife lived for a long time. But it says, but as the days of no were, so shall us the goodness of man be. What can that guy say? What happened? It, it, it came on them, it came to them from the marriage. Right? Nobody was expecting that day of the Lord to come, and it came. Right? This day that was prophesied about it. It's like the exact same thing. And your people are exactly the same. The exact same thing. And, and I guarantee you, man, and they actually they had the uh, the movie no one recently. going to try to, he's going to, of course he's going to happen. When those whistles are coming, he's going to ask to be saved, like, please don't let this happen to me. He's not going to be praying to a God, but he's going to be saying to, to the full of his heart, fullness of his heart, please don't let me die. He's going to hope that for some great miracle, it's going to be a uh, distant, no, it's not going to be the point, that's not going to be the, the case, man. I just read to you on Surat, or Whistle of Solomon, the end of the, the end of this people is going to be horrible, man. It says, uh, and for as in the days of Noah, that in the days of Noah, as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving a marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And it says, and knew not until it came. They didn't want to acknowledge the truth until it came, man. They didn't want to acknowledge the truth until it finally happened. So it's just like that today. You're not going to want to acknowledge the destruction, the martial law, the chip, until it's happening. It's going to be too late. Because you were supposed to acknowledge it. I mean, the elders, the elders have been out, they're going on 30 years. They acknowledged, they acknowledged this 30 years ago, man. Okay? Uh... And then you got a lot of his brothers, our young brothers, were starting up about the age 19, 20, 21, two brothers later, it's okay. Age does not matter with the both sides. But the, they said out of faith is the sickness, but the point is, we're acknowledging it before the flood comes. If uh, Noah's speaking, and certain men are looking 
fucking up like, oh shit. All right, I believe you. Uh, I forgot I was gonna get. Oh, never mind. Uh, Second Peters. Uh, chapter two, verse two. And many shall follow the pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Just by saying it's not going to happen, that's evil spoken, that's evil communications. And through covetousness shall they with mean words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Just because it's not happening, man, does not mean it's not going to happen to you. You're not special. You are uh, six point something billion people. Y'all are not special. Y'all were not uh, born for a spectacular, marvelous work. You live, you die, and you come back the right way. You're gonna die, and this time horribly though. Horribly. So horribly. And when you come back in reincarnation, you're gonna live right forever. You're gonna be burned so badly. You're gonna never want to go off again, man. Never. And I'm speaking to you two third Negro Latinos. You're gonna never want to commit. It's amazing what the scriptures tell you about, man. That the, but the power of the Most High. That you're gonna sit. You're gonna you're, you're going to, like I said right there. That you follow your own pernicious way. You're gonna sin so much in this time and be so much of a dick in this time and an asshole. It's so corrupt, full, full forcing, denying the truth. And this time, that when the time comes, when you're burned, you're gonna never come up, go off in the kingdom. All right. Uh, it says for the for uh, but it's for the whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For the most high spared not the angels that, are, that that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, because he was preaching that everything, he was preaching, the, he was just preaching the truth. Y'all people act like when he was he was endowed with something like. He spoke something weird. Like, like y'all act like when we're speaking, like if we were to speak real privacy, uh, it would be a language you can't even understand. Some extraterrestrial language would have more than one voice or something. But that's not how it goes. It, it's true. It's words. It said, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the, the, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and despise government. You despise you despise the conformed will that's supposed to be put upon this earth. You don't want to subject yourself to the higher power you have by Shemia al Shai. Right? You want to continue living according to the way that so-called white man taught you, all right? But uh, presumptuous are they, self-willed, because the Most High never told you to commit evil. The Most High never told you to be wicked and live like that. It said right there, and like I read in, in the book of uh, Genesis, it said that the, that, the most, that the every man had corrupted the way of the Most High, all right? Chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil indignities. 